We are going back into this series between Liquid Red and Storm. Now, in the bottom right here, as the, well, I should say, pink Zerg player. It's yes, a very it manly color. But luckily, we have a red as the red Zerg <laughs> in, the <bottom. laughs> in, the, in the top left. Right. No, in this uh, replay night evening, I was just waiting for you for some kind of joke, and you just made it. <laughs> I made one joke in the entire evening. <laughs> yeah, it, <laughs> that's some it, kind of it, record. <laughs> you know, in the red, as the red Zerg. Ah, thank you. Whatever, you know, but um, what time is it now? 10 o'clock? <laughs> so you're two hours behind. <laughs> but two hours was... behind on my joke, yeah. But okay. uh, we oh. see Storm going for a 10 pool. Oh, oh, and quick extractor. Yep, I mean, that's a logical follow up. You want speed out double extractor. Well, isn't it going to be an extractor? No, extract? oh, yes. Extractor. yes, yes, yes. Okay, this is probably going to be a, a short game. Anyway, so okay, let's see what Red is going to do uh, because that's going to be uh, a big influence of this uh, of this game. Uh, I fear the worst. No, I don't fear. I, I fear the worst, but he. But for whom do you fear the worst? That's the that's the point, of course, because if Red uh, manages to hold this uh, this off, it will be a short game in any regard. So the thing is. Red, of course, being known for his macro-oriented play, he will also be quite used to players uh, trying to make uh, make use of that, trying to use that knowledge and go for an early attack timing. So he must be quite good at holding that off. His hatchery is on the way, though. Oh, wow. The oh, wow. Storm has got the opportunity right here. But please, Storm, Grandmaster player from Denmark, don't count this guy out. Okay, he's 1-0 behind, but I saw him play in the previous round and this guy scaled. I, I, I love the way he uses the map and I love the way he's, uh, about he, he does his unit positioning, stuff like that. Yeah, this guy is scaled, don't count him out. Red definitely uh, doesn't count him out. He uh, is trying to make as many zerglings as he can and throwing down a spine crawler as well. Where is it? Oh yes, it's there right in my screen uh, <laughs> in the main base but I mean he doesn't have any more larva so this is really where it's at with of course the banings now more again well very early banings here from storm so let's see he's going to uh, if he's going to get good connections there is no spore crawler up for red right here but it's being in the build or the spine crawler excuse me and let's see how he's going to uh, do this connection it's going to be huge let's see how he's going to connect oh Oh, few drones right there. <laughs> Will it be enough? Two drones are killed. Well, two drones killed, and uh, I like how Storm doesn't actually uh, try to catch this hatchery, but it does give uh, Red the uh, the much needed extra larva. And look at that, he is building more drones behind this. Feeling quite safe, but more banelings will come in, and it uh, might be a problem. But will the queens? Oh, they can block off the ramp. Oh wow, man. Storm needs to finish it right now because he's, this is an alert man. He needs to he needs to do it right now and I hope he will. But let's see, he needs perfect bailing connections and one bailing falls down right now. Let's see what's going to happen. Bailing's going to the main base. Oh, one is going to get down. One bailing very low on health and let's see a bit of bailing connection. And actually finishing off a couple of low health uh, drones, that's very important. A couple of links, links everywhere, but uh, the aggression, the big aggression from Storm is over. The question is, will he have done enough damage? 10 drones is the, is the count. That's very, very good. He killed 10 drones, Storm killed 10 drones, and now they are quite equal in workers. But of so course, Red has another hatch that's that's the the big that's problem big he has kill. two queens up he has uh, another hatch and there is no queen here for storm just uh, some zerglings on the map still trying to do some damage but they cannot really get in anymore oh wow you know i really like the early harassment of storm right here but will it be enough the defense of red here looking quite strong with the two queens and spine crawler but actually storm doesn't look in great shape at all yeah, and now 10 more Zerglings are going to hatch for Red, and that means actually he will have 
the superior link count in just a few seconds, building even more links because he knows that he can hold it off. He doesn't want to die right now. Well, I can tell you, OD, that he wants. No, he doesn't, of course. Uh, but I think Red is producing so many units and immediately here, okay, five more bailings are going to be morphed in from Storm. And actually, the, ma the main thing is, you know what, man, I don't have to tell you, because he needs good connections to stay alive in this game. He's behind his supply, he's behind the bases, it's all or nothing, right now. Very much so, and Red uh, spots the uh, Banelings and uh, perfect uh, Zergly control, of course. Who would have expected anything else? Will actually uh, Banelings fall? Yes, one Baneling just, uh, just falls down. Red doesn't manage to get a second, nope. That was quite close though. Oh, and there he gets it at all, after all. But uh, alright, this is the final push from Storm. A queen, can he get one? And actually all the Banelings being hightailed out of there. Actually some nice connections there to kill that, uh, that spine crawler. But with Red building 18 more Zerglings in the, behind this, hmm, this is a problem for Storm. OD, are you muted? Uh, yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a big hit there. A very, very big hit. By Storm. Actually, the both players are exactly equal in the food count right there. That was not a, a good drone hit at all. And Storm needs to run away from Red, who has his own bailings right now. Oh, wow, Storm. Uh, morphing in more bailings. He, uh, if he could get another connection like he did before, that would be perfect. But no... Bailings are going to be cancelled. This is quite an intense game, by the way. EPM is going to raise the roof. Mouse pads are being smoked. Are smoking. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, the 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 second base for Storm is coming down. He needs to hold out a couple of minutes. But what's the damage in the drone count? It's actually not that large. 16 drones for Red and 15 for Storm. Oh wow! So low in supply in the 11th minute, Mark Red. Yeah, this is quite an intense game. Wow. It's all about the Bailing connections right now. If Storm can get a good connection, then it, this game might still be his, and there's uh, more of his banelings morphing in. He needs them, he needs them desperately. The spine crawler is gone, the queens are gone, but there are uh, quite well, there's four banelings. Let's see, four more banelings marching into the main base of Liquid Red. And let's see what's going to do. Oh, he trades the bailing so I'm off in. So this is uh, pushes Storm ahead right now. Wow, man, this is such an equal game. What the hell? <laughs> this is very equal indeed. He needs to cancel these bailings before they match. And Red is okay. GG. GG. Wow. We have a real match, ladies and gentlemen, because... Storm manages to do it. It was a little bit cheesy. It was a little bit holding up. Could he do it? And he could. Uh, I cannot wait for the third game uh, right here. It's going to be uh, on